Oh, what's up, guys? In this video, I'm going over the top 10 incinerate immune characters in MCOC. So, once again, same rules as the last three videos. We're not going to be including anyone who can shrug them off. Just These are just raw immune characters. So, no Ghost, no Aegon. You can go into the fight, and you will never take a tick of damage from these debuffs, okay? So, starting it off, at number 10, we got our boy Silver Surfer. Silver Surfer is triple immune. He's immune to Shock, Cold Snap, and Frostbite, and Incinerate. So, number 10 on the list because he's Incinerate immune. Um, number one character for Prestige. He has decent damage with, when he gets all of his buffs active. Um, you know, he gets a power gain. Uh, or, yeah, power gain, Fury, and Armor up buff. He can, can get two of each of those buffs. Um, so, his damage is pretty nice. Um, he's also not immune to Cold Snap, Frostbite, or uh, Cold Snap. He's resistant to them. So, it's honestly better because he can just regenerate from them. Um, once again, number one prestige character in the game, so pretty good character, but only number 10 on this list. He doesn't bring that much crazy shit to the table. He's just pretty shiny and fun to play. So yeah, he's number 10 on this list. Number nine, we got our boy... Where is he? Where the fuck is this dude? Oh, here he is. I'm blind. Red Hulk. Red Hulk is number nine for best incinerate character in the game. Um... He is not immune, but he's immune to poison and incinerate. But he's not really immune to them. The second he gets them on himself, he instantly shrugs it off and converts it into a heat charge. So he will never take damage from the debuff, but he's not necessarily immune to it. It's hard to explain, but he'll just insta shrug it off whenever it gets put on him. He's a very simple character. He just can get to 10 um, heat charges. Good for mystic characters. And basically, these heat charges just make his hits do an additional energy damage. Once you get to 10 heat charges, he hits like a fucking truck. Um, he has a small regeneration in the special too, but it's like, that's pretty much the extent of this character. You just get him to 10 heat charges, spam special ones to build them up, or just go into a fight with just a lot of incinerate. And um, yeah, and he's pretty good. One thing to keep in mind though is he's... Like, if you were to fight a Mephisto, you'd take damage from the Aura of Incineration because you can't shrug it off. So that's just something to keep in mind. But that's pretty much it. When it comes to, like, the actual debuff, though, he's immune to it. So, yeah, he is number nine in the list. Good damage. Poison Incinerate. Double immune character. Doesn't need to be awakened. Number eight in the list. We brought up this character in, like, I swear to God, every single video. But we got to bring it right up again. Number eight, we got Emma Frost. She is immune to all five debuffs. In her diamond form, which she starts out the fight in, bleed, poison, shock, incinerate, and cold snap and frostbite. So, what makes her so good? She's immune to pretty much every debuff, and in her um, and in her other form, in her which form is it called? The telepath form. She can fully um, counter evade, and she has lots of prowess in her abilities. So she basically has a lot of prowess, can counter evade, and um, is immune to pretty much every debuff. So she's number eight in the list. Good damage, all that good stuff now you go up to the better characters these characters are getting better and better on this list now these are like the characters that are like pretty good now we get to number seven and up number seven is our boy havoc havoc is an interesting character um he's a character that, like the more you play him the more he can get a you more you realize you can get around he's immune to all forms of incinerate so i guess like pretty much any incinerate he's immune to um he has he has some of the craziest burst damage in the game you basically build up plasma on yourself, and then you build it on the enemy, and then you launch a special three, and you know you just pretty much win the fight. It's like that simple. He has crazy damage. He doesn't make contact hits. I'm pretty sure. So he, where is it? Their energy damage. So he can get around like Corb's rock stacks. That's pretty nice. Um, he has good damage over time with his uh, plasmas that he puts in the enemies. If you put um, plasma on the enemy. I think you throw a heavy attack, it'll just do a nice amount of damage over time. So you can get around some nice damage over time fights. Special 3, Burst is like 200,000 health. So it's a really good Special 3. He's really good for Alliance War defense. He's just overall a really cool character. He's a lot of prowess, so if you need prowess for something, he's cool. And he's incinerated, I mean, once again. That's why he's on this list, so yeah. He's going to go for in the number 7 spot. Number 6, we got another character that's been in a few of these lists. Black Widow Clairvoyant. She's number seven, I think she, or she's number six. I think she would be higher on this list if her incinerate um, form wasn't the third one. The way she works is she starts in her bleed immune form, then goes to poison, then goes to incinerate. So if you're fighting a human torch, 
you got to do two combos to get to incinerator moon which normally most of the time you can make it there fine but you will take a nice chunk of damage if it wasn't for that it should probably be a little bit higher in the list maybe maybe not though so in this incinerate form that's the only form i'm going to go about talking about her she's triple immune but in the incinerate form the one we're talking about now um what her special two does is it puts buff immunity on them so they can't get any buffs which is really nice and um it does burst damage for every hit it does like a nice chunk of burst damage so if you want damage from clairvoyant in like a normal fight you normally go to the incinerate phase so clairvoyance this is her incinerate phase she can nullify all buffs she hits pretty goddamn hard um so yeah that she goes in the number six spot number five we got the boy void void is only immune to incinerate i'm pretty sure that's only immunity he has and the way this guy works is he cycles debuffs on the opponent every certain amount of time he puts a debuff on them. And every time he throws a special one, he puts a debuff on them. There's three debuffs he can get. One of them counters, like, evade. One of them counter. Two of them are pretty useless. Let me see. Okay, so one of them uh, reduces ability accuracy of evade and dexterity mastery by 30%. And one of them reduces crit rating. But then the important one, the petrified one, it reduces opponent's regeneration and power gain rate by 50%. The way this guy works also is with the Awakened ability, he has Fear of the Void active. You really want this guy Awakened in high sig, but once he has Fear of the Void, you got all six debuffs on them, and the debuffs all tick damage. Every second they're on, it'll tick, or every half second. So, you know, the more debuffs, the more, like, different debuffs you place, like, it, it won't double the damage if you have the same debuff. It's the, like, each unique debuff does, like, a certain tick of damage every second, so he's good. He has a lot of damage that, like, he doesn't even need to hit the opponent, which is really helpful. And then once you get all six of your debuffs, it'll convert to Fear of the Void, and then you can keep putting debuffs on top of that. Fear of the Void increases your damage, and it makes your, and it count, like, it doesn't take away your debuffs' effects. So, like, you have two Petrifies, and then you get Fear of the Void. That Fear of the Void still will be, like, those two Petrifies. So if you get a third Petrify, or, like, a new Petrify, and Fear of the Void, it's minus 150% regeneration and power gain. So once you got Fear of the Void and Petrify is active, they'll start reversing their regeneration by a lot, and they'll start reversing their power gain. So if you're fighting Hyperion, when he gets the power gain buff, you'll see it go backwards instead of forwards, this power. So it's really nice. Any character that has crazy healing, you pretty much just bring Void in, too. There's a lot of scenarios in the game where you need, like, a crazy heal reversal, and then you just whip out Void, and he just so easily and just so nicely just can just clap cheeks. So Void, for me, goes in the... Number uh, five spot on this list. Um, so yeah, you get you can do a lot of damage without touching them, which is also really nice. Um, now we got to number four, a character I don't really get to use all that often, but I've seen this dude's value from gameplay. Number four, we got our boy Sunspot. Sunspot has crazy damage. He's like Havoc, but like better in like most ways. Um, when he, they first came out, I thought he was like Havoc. I, I always thought of him as like the same power level, but the more gameplay I see, he's definitely a lot better than Havoc. The way he works is he has these solar charges he places on them, and you have, you know, if you're sick 200, you have a 120 in total, okay? And basically what these do is you hit them, so you hit them five times with a five combo, they have five incinerates on them. You parry, if you parry when you have any incinerates on them, you perfect block. So this guy can always perfect block, which is very nice to have. And basically, you throw a special one, you gain a, like, solar charge, and then you have two solar charges, because you start with one, obviously, and then every hit you do will take away two of your 120 charges instead of one at a time. And you basically keep hitting them, you parry, you hold down heavy, and holding down heavy gives you your charges back and gives you power. You just keep cycling special ones, and after, like, three or four special ones, maybe five if they're really big health, you have five um, of the solar charges. And then you throw a special two, and all your solar charges will convert into a massive prowess. So you have five, you got like five of these massive prowess. And, you know, it pretty much will kill everything in the game. Um, if they all crit as a maxed out five star, I could do like anywhere. Special two alone can do like over 500,000 damage, really. And if you know, maxed out six star with like boost. So he's just, it, it would be, he could be so good. He's incinerating me, obviously. He has perfect blocks and just. The ability to do so much damage with one special makes him this high in the list. Because there are some scenarios where you want to out-damage things. Also, he places a shit ton of debuffs with incinerates. They don't do that much damage, but there's so many of them. So he pretty much is just counter for healing with the despair mastery. So he goes number four in this list. Number three, we got our boy Colossus. We've talked about him in a lot of these lists because Colossus is triple immune. And he's in the top ten of all of the immunities he's in. He's bleed immune. Incinerate immune and cold snap and frostbite immune. What makes this guy so good? 
basically the fact that he's triple immune and his damage is like beyond crazy. You basically, what you want to do with this guy is parry heavy and you're pretty much just, your heavy is just so much damage. Um, if you have a high sig, he can convert incinerates into, or any debuff he's immune to, into um, armor ups. And the more armor ups you have, the harder he hits. He's just overall a powerhouse and he hits like a fucking truck. So Colossus, number three in this list. Um, his special two hits like crazy. He's just honestly so good. And he's triple immune, so why not? Number two in the list, one of the only few Beyond God tiers I don't have. We got our boy, Human Torch. He's double immune. He's immune to Cold Snap and Frostbite and Incinerate. What makes this guy so good? He can fully counter miss. Um, if you have regeneration, he can just reverse that like crazy, kind of like Void, where you can just turn your regeneration against you like crazy. Um, his damage is extremely high in longer fights. Like That's why he's so good for the Abyss, because the fights, he just, every time he hits them, like a Mystic character, he gains another Smolder, and the Smolder just equals more damage. And you can exponentially just keep rising this just um, and just until just infinitely. Like you can get as many as you can. Um, so his damage is just one of the best in the game against like in the right matchup. Oh god, I misclicked. My bad. Can counter miss, can reverse regeneration, and also is pre fight ability. Um, you can use it once a quest. Unless you have the awakened ability, you can use it a little bit more. But that's not important um, right now. Basically, the awakened ability or what this uh, pre fight does is instead of doing normal incinerates in a fight. What you normally plays, you play um, Nova Flames, and no character in the game is immune to these. These are like these are stronger versions of the Incinerates, and no character is immune to them. He also puts Power Stings on you when you and he hits you with the um, Nova Flame. So Human Torch's damage is just so crazy. He just destroys your generation. He destroys longer fights, and he's just double immune. So and he counters Miss. So overall, number two best counter for any Incinerate matchup. He'll probably be one of the best counters for. And incinerates give him smolder, so you're just increasing his damage. And then you know you'd think he'd be the number one character, but the number one character for me on this list, the number one character countering incinerate, incinerate, incinerate fight, could be Human Torch, depending on the scenario. But I think most of the time, the number one incinerate counter in the game right now is Cosmic Ghost Rider. People forget he's incinerate immune. I kind of forgot too. I thought he was just bleed immune, but he's bleed and incinerate immune. So he's double immune. What makes this guy so good, you ask? Basically, um, damage. His damage is one of the best in the game. This guy, you know, you throw a special two, most fights are just dead. Like, he was ending Realm of Legends fights in, like, 20 hits. Okay, so, like, max boosted, cosmic power boost as a rank 3, 6 star. Um, he just claps. He just claps so many cheeks, you have no idea. It is unreal. This character's damage is just so high, you just can't ignore it. You just can't ignore it. He, he's honestly just so strong it's unreal his special two just kills almost anything in the game and if that's not enough firepower you can throw a special three get a massive fury then throw a special two and that'll most likely kill almost anything in the game but his damage is just so good and he doesn't need to be awakened really at all so for me cosmic ghost Rider is the best incinerate immune character in the game so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video you can like comment subscribe and yeah i'll see you guys in the next one peace